strategies for improving memory with Dr. Hank Sites. Do you struggle and forget things sometimes? Like you go to a room and you forget, why did you come to this room? Or you thinking, where did I keep my wallet? Or where did I keep my keys? Just kind of, it makes you feel frustrated when you keep on having issues like that. You yeah. see, memory is integral part part of your mental well-being. And yeah. it is needed for everything from remembering phone numbers to what you read for your work, from your home. So everything requires memory. But yeah. sometimes we struggle, and especially as we age. Are you interested in learning more about how memory works and learn some practical tools for improving your memory naturally? Then you're in the right place. <laughs> Give us thumbs up and sh to show your interest. Welcome to Happy and Healthy Mind. My name is Dr. Rosina. Over the last 20 years, I have been serving as medical doctor, specializing in psychiatry, a best-selling author, and a transformative speaker. I believe our mind is the software that runs the hardware of our brain and our body. And therefore, I share practical tips for mental fitness over here so you can live your best life without burnout and unnecessary suffering. Please consult your healthcare professional for any treatment advice. But if you find this content helpful, then join our mission of eradicating preventable sufferings and suicides by liking, subscribing, and sharing so more people can live a happier and healthier lives. And today we are grateful for Dr. Hank for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Hank. Oh, thank you, Dr. Rosina. I just love what you're doing there and what a just amazing introduction to help people become their greatest possibility, be a happy and healthy mind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And Dr. Hank here is a mental scientist and he has helped Fortune 100 companies around the world and thousands of individuals yeah. to be do and have more through the gift of mind power and love. And he's the author of 15 best-selling books and Quilly Award winning books, including The Happiest Man in the World, Think, Feel and Grow Rich and Your Royal Path to Riches. He's specializing in helping others enjoy better health, happiness and independent wealth. And we are fortunate to have uh, have him as guest today. Dr. Hang, let's jump in. Tell us uh, what made this topic so important in your life and how was life before you started applying some of the tools that you are going to teach us today? <laughs> sure, Dr. Rosina. Hey, thank you so much. And I thank all your listeners for, you're going to absolutely love this session. It'll help you to, uh, in an easy, fun, delightful way to be able to uh, create more of your dreams come true. And so I uh, was brought up and you asked me about my past that I was uh, actually brought up with uh, a very uh, abusive father, emotionally, physically, psychologically. And, and because of that, that it really took me down to some lows. And, you know, all of us have the high and low ups and downs of life. And because of my experience, in fact, on The Happiest Man in the World, World, that book uh, actually describes uh, just all the challenges I had, just like all of us have had, oh, and how I was able to go above all of it and just be like a witness to it and how to use our magnificent, all-powerful mind to be able to create the things that we want. And so it was from this challenging childhood that gave me contrast of telling me, here's what I don't want. And so as an example that my, because of the way my father was, it actually was a blessing because it helped me to become the best dad ever. And so I have three wonderful sons and now grandchildren. And uh, it really, and so I just bless my father and for all of us to bless our past because really uh, it's all been there in order to help us have a brighter future. Wonderful. What a positive approach to life. So that's great. And we'd love to learn some of those tools. But before we get into the tools, share how life became different once you applied these tools in life and especially yes. from well, mental yes. health and memory point of view. 
Absolutely. And so I think it'll be helpful to understand, first of all, what scientists have all agreed on in the past five years that I've been teaching for over 20 years. And basically the scientists, and this is quantum physicists, molecular biologists, that uh, literally all the disciplines of science have agreed that to create anything in our lives, to create our experience, um, that it is all based on three steps, according to the scientists. Okay. The first thought of a step is our all-powerful thought. And so we, and like you shared with us, Dr. Rosina, that yes, it's this magnificent mind that we have. And, uh, and that's why you say happy and healthy mind. And when you have a happy and healthy mind, you will have everything that you desire. And it'll just be, get better and better in a bright future. And literally, by the time you're done listening to this, you'll see exactly on how to have that bright future. So step one, according to scientists, is our thoughts. And our thoughts then, create what they call energy. And so what I like to call, I like to personalize everything to realize that, hey, we're, we literally are the creators, co-creators of our own experience. And so that energy is really our emotions. So our emotions is our communication system, if you will, to our higher power, God, universe, whatever name you want to uh, attribute that amazing, uh, beautiful uh, partnership that we have. And, uh, and so it's in our emotions that communicate. And then step three is those thoughts that create energy then creates what they call matter, M-A-T-T-E-R. And this is why, Dr. Rosina, thoughts become things. And so with regard to the memory, that gets into the entire uh, language and what we're talking to ourselves every day about. Most of us have been brought up about prayer and that our prayer actually is when our hands are full and we're on our knees, that it actually, our prayer is our everyday thought. So we have 60,000 thoughts a day. And out of those 60,000 thoughts, 80% of those thoughts are thoughts about what we don't want. In other words, negative thoughts, what most people would call negative thoughts. But a really even bigger kicker is, is that 95% of those 60,000 thoughts are actually the same thoughts we had yesterday. And since our thoughts create that if my thoughts yesterday are the same as today, it means I end up getting the same life today, tomorrow, and in my future. So I help people to instead think more about what they do want, most would call that positive, and then also to ask to expand your imagination for answers and solutions. Most of us are looking at the world and we're just responding to the world and we can all become more deliberate creators of our life. All right. So when once you started applying, what kind of changes did you see in, in your life? Yeah. Well, um, people sometimes uh, say to me, oh, Dr. Hank, you're in La La Land and you're exactly <laughs> right. And most people would love to be there. <laughs> and what it is when you rise above life, instead of believing that reality is what you're looking at. Actually, it's old news on what we're currently experiencing, because remember, it's the thoughts that we had previously that create what our experience is. Now, some people say, oh, Dr. Hank, I don't believe that. I've asked for, for example, uh, I've asked for money and I didn't get any money. And so what's with that? And so to help understand on how powerful we are and also sometimes how off track we can become is let's call 
uh, think of painting colors and like a, a color yellow. And so it's bright and sunshine. And think about that as wanted thoughts. So thoughts about, oh, I love this. I like this. That I, I, I love this person. I love this experience. I love all the abundance I have. And we, we start asking, I want to expand my imagination for more answers and solutions. And so, so you're saying all these wonderful things of what you desire. And so let's call that yellow. Okay. But then during the day, we start experiencing maybe an argument with an employee or a spouse, a family member, a uh, deal goes south, you know, something unwanted happens, what most people would call bad. And, uh, and so what happens with that is as we're involved in this, uh, uh, thinking about what's bad, that we then attach ourselves to it. So we start saying, oh, I can't believe that, you know, I got in an argument. We start Facebooking people and talking to ourselves. That's the main thing. We're chattering away with the small, our smaller self, our conscious mind, and we're chattering away about how terrible that is. And what happens is that creates energy of what we don't want. And so that becomes our prayer and so now we start praying, we, we, in essence, attract into our lives those things that we didn't want. And so the whole key is, you know, in an answer to your question, so where am I? I fly with my angels. I'm in heaven here on earth and I'm in Dr. Hank's La La Land <laughs> where I just observe life. And I simply do this, and this is a great de technique, uh, Dr. Rosina, that if everybody of you would write this down, again, I'm a mental scientist and I, I know how our thoughts become things. And if you'll just think about that, when something you don't want happens, simply say, this is what I don't want. Argument, deal going bad, not enough money, whatever it is, that this is what I don't want. And then we've been told to turn the other cheek. Now, when I was a child, I thought turning the other cheek means when my dad slaps me on this side, <laughs> my cheek, that, you know, that I turn the other cheek and he slaps the other side. But that's not what it meant. What it actually means is, so this is what I don't want. And I'm going to turn the other cheek. And if you will write down, ask. What do I want? And this contrast in our life, the things we don't like, that it actually is there, God, if you will, puts it there for us, for us to be able to birth these new thoughts, these new emotions that create a better future for us. Right. Yeah, so once, and, and sometimes you say, okay, if, if you don't like something, say it one time. And if you really like something, say it five times. <laughs> so you increase your positivity rather than the negativity. Yeah, I love that. And, yeah. and when I was picking up this topic, I really felt like when we are in the best mental state of mind, our ability to focus improves, yes. our ability to remember things improve. And so our memory, because the memory is not just like, you know, remembering what happened. It's, it's the three-step process that what you observe that gets stored in your com brain computer. Mm -hmm. And then you store it in an organized way so that when you need it, that you can go to that file and pick it up. But when you are all this disorganized and your thoughts are all over and you are so negative, then what you're observing does not get sink in. Yeah, and it does not so. get stored in the right place. And so when you're trying to look for it, then you can't find it. Yes, and so exactly. All, and all so these are interconnected things. Yes, yes. So let's get right into as far as that memory. And here's just a wonderful technique to increase your memory. And before I get there, though, I want to make sure that we understand um, that if you are saying, oh, I'm not good with names you'll become worse with names, okay? Right. That if if you say, oh, I hope I don't get Alzheimer's or whatever it is, it's just dis-ease, okay? It's not a disease. It's that we're not at ease. We're not connected with our higher power. And so the fastest way, and again, I would ask everybody to write this down, the fastest way to connect with your higher power is to be able to breathe and breathe deeply. 
And so it's five seconds in and five seconds out. And if you'll do that just six times, which is one minute, that you will get connected and then you will be in the receiving mode to get answers and solutions to whatever you desire. Now, specifically to the memory, here's a wonderful way, and I've helped thousands of people to enhance their memory. And so if you'll uh, imagine, so let's say I'm just studying for a test. It can be anything that, that you have, but let's, you know, just put it into an easy thing. I'm studying for a test that, that I'm taking. And so it's, you know, you want some other certification, whatever, that when you go into studying, do this, ask, to I want all of these ideas, these thoughts, this learning, this knowledge that I'm getting, that I want to make a deposit into my bank. <laughs> memory so, bank. <laughs> yeah, it's our memory bank. But because we are human, we have this physical, we're physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, that um, that we really take a lot on, you know, this physical. So thus, we can all imagine that we're walking into the bank, okay? And so before you want to remember whatever, you walk into your bank and there's this teller that comes in that greets you and, uh, you know, from behind the bank, you know, wall cage, you know, whatever, and say, yes, I'd like to, in the next hour or whatever it is, I'd like to put this into my memory bank for this exam or this subject or whatever it is that I'm learning or um, uh, that I, I want to understand uh, on that. And so what will happen if you will breathe deeply again for this minute and relax yourself and be open and then ask. And the key is to ask and we shall receive. Well, most of us don't ask for what we want. We Most of us think about what we don't want. I hope I don't get COVID. You actually attract more COVID. I hope uh, I don't get an argument. I hope I uh, don't forget. That's the worst thing you can ever say because that your emotion goes to forget and that's your signal out to the universe if you will on forgetfulness and then you will forget or i hope i don't get alzheimer's that you will actually attract that so when you're done and let's say you're ready to take the test you again breathe deeply for a minute five seconds in five seconds out ask to quiet your mind the meek shall inherit the earth, and this is being meek as we quiet ourselves, as we relax, as we deeply breathe, and it's the fastest way to connect with our higher power. And then, again, we're at the test now, or whatever it is, I want to remember that person's name, you know, it could be anything, that now I'm going to walk into my bank, and I'm going to see that same wonderful teller, the most beautiful person ever, bubbly, happy person. And you say, I'd like to make a withdrawal. <laughs> and I'd like to withdraw uh, the, all the information about this person or this topic or about this exam, whatever it is. And they gleefully say, oh, yes, absolutely. I'll go get it. And you make a withdrawal and then you receive all of that information. And when you do, you will be just amazed at how great you are. Now, a prob the challenge with that is that, <clears throat> let, let's say, for example, I'm not good with names. Well, how many times have you said, I'm not good with names? And that goes into, we actually have two minds, our conscious mind, which runs everything. And it's this analytical mind that should only be used to think about what I want and why I want it, not the how. The father does the work. So for me to just start thinking about, hey, this is what I want. And, uh, and so then then this, what I put in my conscious mind, the subconscious has memorized. And in fact, my book, Your Royal Path to Riches, is how to tap in to the kingdom within. 
And so we have, this is an inside job, folks. <laughs> this is how, how we do this. So for us to be able to start thinking, so what I say with my conscious mind is recorded in my subconscious mind. Every thought, experience, and every feeling I've had since my conception my subconscious mind has memorized it all. You, all of us have a perfect memory. We just need to tap into that subconscious mind. And I shared a technique with you there on how to do that. But that subconscious mind has an opinion about every subject under the sun. And that opinion is called our beliefs. <laughs> so it is done to onto us as we believe. Well, it also, in, in for example, if you follow the Bible that uh, Matthew, in Matthew, it says, when, when two of you come together, it shall be manifested on earth. Well, the two of us are two people. It is my conscious and my subconscious mind have to agree. Mm -hmm. So if I right now say I'm good with names, but I have for all of my lifetime said I'm not good with names, the subconscious mind has the belief of I'm not good with names. And so thus, when you ask for I, I have a, I'm good at, at remembering names, the subconscious mind basically goes bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that no, 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 you've been telling me forever yeah. on about this. And so thus we don't have agreement. And that's why when we're thinking about these yellow thoughts of what we want, we then start experiencing through the day red thoughts, things we don't want. The deal goes south. We get into an argument. We don't feel good, whatever it is. And so thus, when we mix that yellow and that red, we come up with orange. And people say to me, Dr. Rubin, that I didn't ask for oranges. But the fact is that we did. And that's why we don't get what we want is because we are thinking more 80% of the time about what we don't want. And one sentence that I'm, um, I'm famous for some of my quotes and one quote is you can't ask for what you don't want. I don't want COVID. I don't want, uh, you know, this business deal to uh, go south, whatever. I can't ask for what I don't want and expect to get what I want. <laughs> right, right. You have to you have to be in alignment because your brain is hearing what you're saying. So in, yeah. in our patients, a lot of times I help them shift their phrase from the negative to positive. That's basis of a lot of thought training that I do. Yeah. You know, time is flying and we are having fun. We don't realize. So let me ask you to wrap up and tell us what... In summary, what I heard, the one of the best technique that you shared was becoming mindful and intentional before you start uh, trying to read or do whatever you're trying to remember. And that way your mind is better prepared to take that information, store it in the right place. And when yeah. you need it, you just go back in the bank and ask yeah. for the uh, withdrawal. <laughs> and such a beautiful analogy that you did that I think is going to help a lot of people. Is there any last minute message that you would like to give yeah. before we wrap up? Well well, Dr. Brazina, you really hit on such a, a beautiful concept here about being deliberate, being intentional. So we talked about on how we can be deliberate and intentional with our memory, but also we can be deliberate and intentional with our lives. And so I would be happy to offer and that people have uh, they purchase this on its own for 1500 bucks and or they do coaching with me but i'm going to give it to you and your audience for free and it's called the joy shop and what it is it's the first thing in the morning to read this joy shop so i'll be happy to send anybody that wants the joy shop this will improve your thinking it'll improve your memory it will improve your life and your future and um you can uh, reach me at dr hank at drhank.biz so dr hank at drhank 
dot B-I-Z and just ask me for the joy shop and I'll send that to you. And what you do, take a couple of minutes to read the joy shop that raises your vibration, which means it raises your point of attraction to be able to have more wanted thoughts to attract people and circumstances and events that you want. And then there are three steps in this joy shop. And number one is what do I desire? And so our desire, the uh, start general, don't just say I want a million dollars because you won't get it. We have so much resistance against money. Well, we've been brought up, oh, the root of all evil is money. Well, back in Christ's time, there were, were sheep, okay? And so certainly it, it, that represented wealth and money. And certainly a sheep is the root of all evil, okay? <laughs> or the filthy rich, or, but you know, I don't want to be filthy. Hell, I'm not going to be rich then. Or money doesn't grow on trees. I lived in Florida and there's orange, billions <laughs> of dollars, orange trees, grapefruit trees. And so, so we have a lot of, and so my counsel is, to start out general what you desire. And again, I would recommend everybody write this down, that what I desire is a long, happy, healthy, wealthy life. And when you do, you'll have a happy and healthy mind. And that's what Dr. Rosina is all about. And then the second part of that joy shop is to write down what you appreciate. So it automatically tells your higher power all that is that when you're in a state of appreciation, it's telling your higher power, I want more of it. And so you will then get more of it. So state of appreciation and then to be so deliberate in prepaving your day the way that you want it. So you can't say, oh, I hope they don't hang up the phone or I hope I don't get, you know, into an argument. You're you're asking for what you don't want. And so because the don't isn't recognized, what's recognized is that word, you know, argument, and I don't want that. And so that's a signal that you're sending out. So instead, just start thinking about what do I desire? I want smooth and easy and enjoyable travels today. I want to have my meetings go well. I want to have, and this is a great one. I would, again, ask everybody to write this down. I want to have big, happy surprises today. Yeah, uh, but how nature has are... these gifts and surprises for us. Yeah, we just need to yeah. be open for them. Exactly. We just have to be open to that. And so anyways, that uh, Dr. Hank is, is uh, Dr. Hank and Dr. Hank up is, I'll send you the joy shot. The other great, um, a wonderful thing that that uh, people have enjoyed is I uh, have a Facebook group called Angel Connections, and it's the angel in the sky you'll see in the clouds, and angels made out of it. But that's when I channel, if you will, divine intelligence. And when I do, I share that loving energy. So angels I look at as like God's messengers, if you will. And so I share those beautiful messages that our angels have about how they love us, support us, want to guide us to everything that we want. And so that would be the couple of things to uh, uh, have, uh, again, the joy shop or angel connections, just to help you feel better. Uh, and when you feel good, that everything will come to you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Before we go into my special of the day, let me just kind of share with people that you can get all these information about these programs and all the gifts shared by our guests okay. on happyandhealthymind.com. So proceed over there. If you would like to get reminders for future programs, you can always text the word joyful, J-O-Y-F-U-L, to the number 38470, and we'd be happy to send you reminders and resources link. And so now it's time for the special of the day. And so... <laughs> So to, for today's special, because we are talking about, you know, developing our mind power and developing improved memory, let me just share uh, an integrative psychiatry approach that we use. Would you like to learn some tools that I use in my practice and Absolutely. share a little bit about what integrative psychiatry is? Yes. When I so say this word, sometimes it is difficult for people to, oh, what is integrative psychiatry? What it means is, well, psychiatry is a treatment for any mental disorders, but many times it just gets focused on disorder, but it's not just focusing on illness, 
but it is also a journey from illness to wellness so wherever you are in that phase of your mental health an integrative psychiatrist tries to take you from that point to your optimum mental well-being so your journey from illness to wellness not just symptom alleviation of the illness and so that is one thing the second thing is that it is more personalized so i try to treat the person as a person i tell them you are not the diagnosis you're you are a person who's experiencing certain symptoms that may fit in certain cluster of disorders so it is for us to help us decide okay if somebody has this type of cluster of symptoms this kind of medication helps them usually this kind of side effects happen so it helps to choose the treatment the diagnosis but you are not your diagnosis you are your person and this illness or this phase is just a state that you are going through so watch out like you know don't say i am i am depressed you say i am feeling depressed so that means that feeling can pass or i'm feeling anxious it's not your identity it's a state so in integrative psychiatry we focus on three things number one is personalized to yourself second is taking you from the journey from illness to wellness and third is integrating all sorts of evidence based natural medicine with conventional medicine and so although i may as part of my conventional treatment tools i may use the medications i may use the tms you know the mri based treatment for depression i may use provato i may use psychotherapy but then i can also combine evidence based botanicals plant based products or other natural remedies uh, psychotherapies and uh, relaxation exercises and other things to help you achieve your best mental health and your best mental health is associated with your best memory and so when you are really you you'll see when you are really angry and when you're really anxious you would tend to forget things so you want to calm your brain down to be able to improve your memory and one of the integrative tool that i use with many of my patients is called ginkgo biloba and that is a plant based product that helps improve your brain health and especially memory and what is it called ginkgo biloba uh, oh, okay yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um and so sometimes I prescribe that for my patients to improve memory and I I've, I've had one patient that was classic she was all frequently forgetting her key in the car start the car and then clock herself out and it was <laughs> happening so frequently and then we started the ginkgo and then like you know 3 months later I she said okay well you know i haven't blocked myself out yet so yeah. but it is helping <laughs> and so you know those simple things when you go to a room and you're forgetting so sometimes that is age based a little decline in terms of number of brain cells but mm-hmm. you remember that brain is plastic so you can create different neuronal pathways to overcome the cells that are dying and with the different strategies you can actually help your brain grow and stay in the best state of mind yeah. so i leave you with the question today what you have been given your brain power your health all the blessings that you have been given or difficulties that you have been given is not in your control it's yeah. been given to you how you respond to it how you adapt to it how you modify it is in your control yeah. so what do you choose today are you going to just say oh i i just have bad memory or i don't have this mind power or you are going to take steps to improve your mental energy and mental strength so you can live your best life with health and happiness yeah. on that note thank you dr hank for joining all us today all right well thank, thank you, you dr rosina and to all yeah. of you thank you i appreciate it and that i know that everything you want is coming your way <laughs> Stay safe, healthy and happy till next time. Talk to you. Thank you.